Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Mithril, and today I have the second of my Malifaux painting tutorials and the first master model to be featured on the channel, the master of nightmares, things that go bump in the night, and one of my personal favourites, the Dreamer Insomniac. Now I'll be using a few different palettes for Dreamer. I want to desaturate and wash out slightly the tones used for himself, and contrast this with some bright, vibrant hues for the dream magic that surrounds him, simultaneously depicting the character in real life dreary London and the intensity of the nightmares and magic he can manifest. Once my model was prepped and assembled, I undercoated with Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. Brushes ready guys, and let's get painting! Base Colours The Dreamer's face, feet and hands were given a base coat with a 1 to 1 mix of Citadel Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone. His sandy, tousled hair was given a base coat using Iroko. The whole of his pyjamas, top and trousers were given a base coat with a 4 to 1 ratio mix of sunset purple and petroleum grey. The grey being added here just to soften the intensity of the purple. Don't worry about the magic swirl yet, I'll be tackling that once the inner areas are all finished. Skin. All the skin was given a diluted shade now with Agrax Earth Shade, allowing this to gather in the grooves and recesses around the eyes and facial details as well as between his fingers and toes. I'll be keeping the recipe for the skin fairly simplistic here, focusing instead on trying to draw out the lethargic detail over Dreamer's weary, snoozy demeanour. When the wash is dry, I applied another layer, increasing the amount of Cadian Flesh Tone in the base mix to a rough 3 to 1 ratio split. I continued building up the layers now using pure Cadian Flesh Tone, further defining his facial features and creating some tendon definition over his hands and feet. I want my dreamer to have a slightly washed out look, barely awake, and a look that will contrast well with the bright hues of the rest of his crew. To achieve this, I slowly start building up the highlights by adding small amounts of pallid witch flesh into the Cadian flesh tone. Continue to add this gradually and further defining his gaunt features. Adding the pallid witch flesh will help desaturate the flesh tone and providing you don't add too much too quickly will look really effective when you're finished. I decided that a highlight mix of three parts flesh tone to two parts pallid witch flesh was enough for the effect I wanted. Hair. The hair was given a shade using diluted goby brown. Applying this as more of a wash than a manual recess shade here to make sure it gets in all the recess definition across his scalp. When this was dried, I slowly started building up the texture and tone of the hair with a 3 to 1 ratio mix of Iroko and Birch, leaving the Gobi Brown showing as much as possible in the recesses. This will start to give Dreamer's hair a very sandy hue which will complement the overall look I'm trying to achieve. I continued building up the layers by adding in more birch into the mix, with each pass keeping my application tighter and more controlled to try and get a smooth blend from the darker areas of hair through to the lighter areas. By the time you reach the final layer stage you should have a rough one to one mix of Iroko and birch. I want to further desaturate Dreamer's hair for the highlight stages. 
Now to achieve this, I started gradually adding in white sands into the previous layer mix. This won't raise the tone as starkly as pure white wood here, but will stay more in keeping with the tones built up so far, whilst giving me a natural highlight. How far you want to push these highlights is purely up to you, it depends ultimately how blonde you want your dreamer to be. When I'm happy with the tone and texture of the hair, I apply the glaze again with Gobi Brown, thinned down even further. This will just help tie together and unify all layers and highlights, and now the hair is done. Pajamas. The recesses of all the pajamas were given a shade by adding in a small amount of black into the original base mix. I went for a rough 3 to 1 ratio mix in favour of the purples to avoid making these overly dark as the recesses aren't hugely deep. However, you can make multiple passes if you feel he needs it. I'm continuing with the desaturated tones here across the pyjamas to help tie the entirety of Dreamer together. I slowly started layering up all the clothing by adding in pink flesh to the original base mix. I'm looking here now to block out the larger areas of cloth, leaving the shade showing in the more pronounced recesses. Again, continuing to add pink flesh in gradual increments as I continue to build up the layers, letting more and more of the recessed detail show through with each pass and trying to build up a seamless smooth blend over the peaks and troughs of the material. I'm going to desaturate the clothing even more for the highlights by adding in Mojave White into the overall mix. Focusing this now on the upper crests and most pronounced folds in the clothing where light will be hitting more prominently. Keeping the additions minimal however to avoid overblowing the tone of the purples too quickly and upsetting my blended layers. I continued adding more Mojave White into the mix until I reached a tone I was happy with overall. This was then applied as a final extreme edge highlight just to make the hems and uppermost fold of clothing really pop off the model. The fastening over the front of the PJs, the collar, cuffs and trim that runs along the front and bottom of the pyjama top were then very carefully picked out using Iroko. This was then further framed with a one-to-one -one mix of Hiroko and Mojave White, being extremely careful here not to bleed out onto the finished pyjamas. Finally, a dot highlight was applied using pure Mojave White. Swirly Sleep Magic. Now that Dreamer itself is finished, 
I'm going to tackle the outer swirly magic, keeping the tones for this quite vibrant in contrast to Dreamer's desaturated, more muted hue. To start off with, I apply the base coat to the swirl with a one-to-one -one mix of Amarth Blue and Innsmouth Blue. A recess shade was then applied by adding in Rift Green to the base coat mix. This will give a slightly unnatural look to the magic swirl, and I'm focusing this between the larger, more prominent and under areas of magic. I added in more Rift Green and made a second pass over the swirl as I wanted to really push the unnatural, slightly off feel to the magic surrounding Dreamer. You can push these recesses as far and as dark as you feel is necessary here. With the recesses turned down how I'd like, I started layering up the swirlies now with a 3 to 1 mix of the base coat blues and herald blue. This will start getting quite an ethereal, otherworldly look to the magic which is perfect for what I want here, leaving the rift green shades showing in the recesses and the inner and under curves of the swirl. I continued building up the layers with increasing amounts of Hero Blue until my mix was predominantly made up of Hero Blue, focusing on building up texture by concentrating on the upper and outer curves of the swirlies as I go. Now that I'm happy with how the swirly magic looks, I applied a final highlight by adding in white just to really push the vibrancy and contrast against the darker, muted tones of Dreamer himself. Again, you can add as much or as little white as you like, depending how bright and vibrant you want the highlights to be. I honestly don't think I'll ever mention pyjamas or swirly magics again as much in any other video. Now you can base your dreamer however you wish. For ideas and like I've done here, please see my 5 minute basic tutorial playlist elsewhere on the channel. The result will be a beautifully painted title master who is absolutely no threat whatsoever to the denizens of Manifo. That is, until he falls asleep. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like, comment and subscribe. And until next time guys, sleep tight and happy hobbying.